Welcome back to Life is Strange Episode 5 Part 2. Finally get to finish this after like a week of not playing it. No idea sick. he was this sick. David? David? Are you okay? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels it like hell. hell. Jefferson was was gonna kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, oh no. Yeah. I always suspected that son of a bitch. You kind of suspected everybody. Yes. And this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescotts. I set my sights too wide. Lack of focus. Oh, man. I know the feeling. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I'll never forgive myself for what happened to Kate. I feel like I helped push her off that roof. Uh, not your fault. Don't blame yourself. Nathan and Jefferson are the ones who put her up there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. <sighs> they had some weird father-son thing going on. Yep. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only I wasn't so stupid. No, I, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe, and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. <laughs> you both had a tough start. And I know it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Who kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... Shit happens. It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she? She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. <laughs> So, where is Chloe? Dead, probably. David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. <laughs> you can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I, uh, I wouldn't I say it otherwise. I, it's I true. saw Jefferson Killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. Yeah, feeling sorry. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? Tell her the truth. I never even told Chloe that I, I... 
God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! Do it. David, wait! Oh, yeah. Sick fuck. Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. Quick, take a photo. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. I... Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Kill me, right? Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. Can we torch it? David, uh, thank you for saving me. Just wake up. Why can't you just shut up? Freedom. Holy shit. This storm's real. I need to find more. Yes. Warren. Can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. Walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm's getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. It's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Do we get the hope while the car driving? Do we get to drive it? Striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. <laughs> Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, goddammit, how I pay all those taxes for you! You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say. I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. No one <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. I'm sorry. Bit of a late warning call, you asshole. Hey, 
and this video is going to get some more times. I'll get music. Zombie! Blocked the way so no one can escape. We can all die together. Solved, but nobody gets a reward. No, you're not dead. You're not dead. How can I get out of here? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. This makes me so sad. I put out this fire first. I can't. 
get sucked out for something. Nobody's going to starve in here. Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system Max. is now in effect. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh. Hey, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. I'm so glad everybody is safe here. But I... Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the hole in my leg, and the fact that my dog is dead. Not to mention I could die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I might see? I'm cool. Well, I bet you and Chloe didn't find Rachel, right? Oh, Frank, I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No. No way. She left town. She's gone. Now, how do you know, huh? How? All of our clues led us to my professor, Mark Jefferson. He had this creepy photo torture chamber. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? <coughs> Fuck! 
Fuck, I knew it. I should never have hooked up with that sick puck. Papadou hated him. Yeah. You saw. You saw Rachel. Yep. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? Overdose. He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is... is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. <laughs> he won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Well, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Just remember we need money. I can't believe my reach. I, I can't talk right now, all right? Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? Um, she's safe. She's... Safe, Joyce. She just sent me a text before my phone died. Oh, thank God. I was torturing myself before you showed up. Oh, God, if something happened to Chloe while well, I ended up stuck at this diner again. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. What? I mean, I'm also what? sorry about everything with you, me. David. <laughs> don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. He doesn't always show it. Love you. I know. I just feel like everything that's going on with us is the perfect storm for Arcadia Bay. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. And Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe. Even if he couldn't show it, David needs you more than ever. And I can see why I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the wall, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. I do. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. So we have I just, echo. I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. Yeah, maybe. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. 
Just be careful it's not some weird reason. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. Yeah. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. <coughs> David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Max, do you, do you think this is the end? No. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Crescent. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is about to stop moving again. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get okay. drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. I want to kill that son of a bitch. He's already dead, yeah. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. All this destruction. It's my fault. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. <coughs> I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max. I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Let's look at the phone. Come on, Joyce. Hey, be careful out there. Mm, okay, wait, talk. Fuck that. We gotta think about it. Before I do this, me too.
Alright, now get off me. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, we were connected to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. So, sorry, and others. Man. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I, now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything <laughs> turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? <coughs> I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, <coughs> but, but you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You, you were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you you asked me to end your life. Oh, yeah. That's right. Chloe, there was no way I well, could yeah, do that. I had to return to this timeline to see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... Why you should come with me so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but 
Do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Fuck. Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. <laughs> so what's your plan? That we tell him Wait, everything, boy. including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. <laughs> just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously something. I always wanted my life kiss, to be special. Kiss, and kiss me, Chloe. But not without you. Kiss, and it, it didn't kiss. happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever kiss. scientific, mystical reason, kiss. I will obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. And the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Ugh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is it stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. No. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. <sighs> Chloe. I've got your back, Max. Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock oh, famously fuck. called film hey. Little Pieces of Time. I'm what back in class. As he what the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. 
Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is the messed up. condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to Wait, what? what's going on? Seriously, though, Nobody even cares? In a dark corner, the caption with a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Watch the school burn down the school. I see you, Max what Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Fuck you. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. The fuck? Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. Um. The fuck? My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by oh a real God, artist. No. I'm just a poser. No. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I what hope you don't mind needles or shit? duct tape. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Oh no. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. Hey, Kate. Max. How could you let me jump off a roof? You were the only person I trusted here. But you never really listened to me. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, you've stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No! Kate, I, I was only trying to save you. Maybe I'm so interested. 
Ends. I, I better find something. Oh my god. Give me back. Well, you can look for the key. Just in case. Oh my god. Let's get individual doors. There is. Forgot about you, everybody. Release the keys. Rachel Amber. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck were you wearing my bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that big. She had, has a great eye for images and art. Plus, she's a smart ass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Sounds like you totally crushed You would have too. Smart, sexy, sassy. I wonder if Rachel has a room around here. Uh, maybe Rachel would have thought of both of us. Oh, fuck, it's tough. Rachel Amber, 224. Um, why am I Victoria? I know this has been an awful day. You can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. Oh, look 
crap. Okay, so this is an indication to maybe my room? Possibly. I'm What the fuck is going on? I'm so lost in this fucking story. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. If I was a member of the oh Vortex my. Club, they'd never change. You can't even that. tell the difference between street photography and police. Well, never journalism. change. Not the boss, bro. Well, but Sam was said. So we basically just gotta play from Wait, this Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! This is so fucking great. Jefferson is coming after me Max. again. No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Oh, shit. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. What? Happened? Maybe I'll wake up. You spark, Max. I thought I could be your professor for life. Hey, Max. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Classes dismissed. Max. Dismissed. Oh, Max! Max? Oh, 
Why is it so fucking weird though? <laughs> like, So I'm guessing if you get caught like three times. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Well. Wait, Max. Attention, I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield, has died under tragic Sir Max. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play! Hey, Max! Max! I said get in the car now! We'll cruise to the drive-in and you'll be close to me forever and We'll go ape, ape, ape! Did that get you hot when you saw me fuck up Nathan? I did. So I'm guessing it's work. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. I knew come out to play! Toy instead of Max. Samuel wants to make sure you never snoop around. Hey, what kind baby. of sick mind would steal money from the handicapped? Hold on, Max. Money from the handicapped. Go away, go Max away, or her baby. Freddy Chloe after this comes out. You dig my wheels, Max? Oh. Too bad you didn't become friends with the Tabanga. Miss Price can't just show up. The squirrels hate you. And they're hungry. Only a feminazi would try to take on a Prescott, huh? Blackwell is my turn. Right about everything, and you Samuel end up destroying the town. The only hey, way you'll ever get in the vortex club. Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, Fuck freak. Me. Max. Max. Shit. I wanna share my gift with you. Shit. You are now that Chloe is dead. You won't be distracted in class anymore. Just because. Hey. Oh no. Bottles. This oh, might be hell. Hey, Max. 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 Max, I want to share my gift with you. <coughs> Those were my beans, Max. Now that Chloe is Holy 
fucking shit, Max. That was if hilarious. If you could have seen Rachel, body. my blood <laughs> spattered oh, angel. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, Rachel, this worm food. <laughs> Smack talk. It was brutal. But of course, oh, I see. What you're these ones aren't about. too hard to find. Nobody ever so helped me, Max. Especially. Looks like there are still bottles to find. Oh, joy. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom's away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe this and Matt. Uh, We're all going to work at the two women. excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder. It's a giant Save fucking off. squirrel. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to You are ridiculous. Tomorrow. You'll be going to someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are those keys? Another what the fuck? You're bankrupting me. Aha. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tape. Whoa, where'd that creepy bitch just go? Dad. Say hi to Chloe and Joyce. Forget to remind them. Let me die. Oh, fuck you! What else have I got in here? Whoa. That's just creepy as shit. All these people. Chloe. Max, this is your old pal, Chloe. You left in a wheelchair in another reality, and I think you, before you bailed to a new life, not only did you blow up my request, you already jumped into another photo. How many fucking times can you abandon me, hippie? Um, good evening, young maps. The squirrels talked to me, but how can you send me away to the phone? Hi, Max. Rachel Emma here. Just want to introduce myself. Obviously, you serious. Real thing. Okay. Bitch, do not mess with Frank or me. You gotta smack. <laughs> That's from fucking Frank's dog. Max, I love your photo shoot with Jeff said he absolutely captured you if you want to freaking hang it out and get like what the f Is it it? How long will this nightmare go on? That was fucking weird. <laughs> Text message from a fucking dog. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on Why Rachel would I fuck all clothes on. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber. But not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up. Does she? What? I'm so over what? hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove oh, it. Fuck you, you four eyed fuck. Booyah, right. Warren. <laughs> I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's not all that. So who cares if she like, doesn't what? kiss me? Oh, you should have seen her make a move on me in my room. Hello, lame. Mac what should see me make a move on you. Come here. Oh, no. God what? damn, you are a sexy bitch. 
Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Uh. Plus, she's like my I personal call puppy. bullshit. I hear that. Do you want a party? What the fuck? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh <laughs> shit! Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch, or take a selfie. Man, See, this is how you bust a move, asshole. Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Uh. Damn, Victoria, you're a real woman, not a little girl like Max. What the fuck? I fucking love your tats, Chloe. Shut you're around. so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is... Oh. A girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. Fuck you. You're so hot. I can't believe oh, it took us so okay, long huh? to hook up. Cheers. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is okay, so, so unfair. To touch it, I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. are all over the place. How will I find the right code? I know when it's repeated a thousand fucking times, right? Um, I just can't see shit, so uh, let's just try random numbers. One, two, three, four. No, oh, maybe zero, six, six. Why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? A three point one. Nice. I... Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. You. Yeah. Right when I was about to start oh. a new life in California. Like I know things were bad between us, but that doesn't mean I was mean happy just being your friend. I always thought of you like a dog. Why do you want so all your friends to die? So this is how Max gets her revenge. 
from my family. Man, it's okay if I'm gone. Yes, my husband and new baby. I wish down. they had been to go friends, down Who? Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? Are you cereal? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, <coughs> huh? <coughs> Twist time around your fingers. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? That's true. You were I just looking care. for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't You're you dare talk dead. about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. So you <laughs> fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> but you didn't do that homework. So you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. Oh. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, oh, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Bitch. Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Oh, kill you. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously oh, glad to see you. Well, I'm a little busy right here. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. Why is this episode taking so fucking long? I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. But I want you to have it. This song fucking rules. Whoa! Can't dance, hippie? Come on! What'd you get me? Rock out, girl! You were here uh, today, Max. Up. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! Da, 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 Welcome da, da, to American da, da, Rust. My fuck home away from all your bullshit. I'm Raw a... and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome... You saved me again. <gasps> She's throwing <gasps> lines! We were totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers, I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. It as long hurt. as you're my partner, Max, the fuck? you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with Otter, so my water. <laughs> Hide! Hide! You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. Photobomb! Photo hog. 
It feels like a different world from yesterday. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn. Let's be it. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this oh, bad what boy. The fuck? Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I really can't see I know. shit. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. <coughs> I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say? Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, it's weird hanging okay. out with you again. I know. Fuck up. I'm glad we are, though. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pipe. Damn. Chloe, you're back. I'm just. I'm just up to you. wasn't the first. To take me All those pointers are. Rachel! to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... to... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. Die? I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died, or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh 
like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. be with you. Forever. Please tell me that's the end of this episode. This shit's gone on for way too long. Kiss me! I just fucking saved you! You better kiss me. Those pixelated raindrops though. She's a thick wrap up, mate. Three dollars on eBay, you'll get a good fucking boy. A lot of death and destruction, but fuck it, she's a good sell. So wait, how the fuck did they survive? <laughs> Woo! Finish the game! Woo! Ah! Uh, guess it's time I end this episode to uh, make sure you like subscribe click the bell and leave a comment on what else you want me to want to see I guess it's, it was a pretty good there's a lot of things we could have done differently but 
Yeah. Anyway. See you later, Panda fam. Fuck, love that. Bye.